Hello, welcome back to the networking class. So, let's start up. Let's network. Okay. So, to start with, I have the notepad which is open here, and let's see how do we connect computers. So, if we are connecting computers in a small campus, let us take an example of your office, a small office which has only um, the first floor and second floor so we connect it through in the campus okay that's what I have written here so we have 10 computers which can be connected in your office so if you're connecting the same computers for different branches of your offices let us take a branch in Bangalore a branch in Chennai or Hyderabad so we connect it through different branches of your office so that is called as MAN metropolitan area, area network so if you're connecting inside a small room or floor to floor first floor to second floor a third floor so it's called as LAN it is called as local area network so if we are connecting right across the world so it's all over the world connecting all the computers so we call it as WAN wide area network so the example for wide area network is internet okay so now we have made the computing and that is networking and we have interconnected to computers we know the cabling technology which we have used we know which jack does it go to we know what device is it connected to and we know the identity of the computer that is called as MAC address and now we know how it has been connected the connecting technology that is LAN, MAN and WAN let us see how exactly the two computers will communicate in a local area network so the local area network is I have two computers which is there in my office connected and let us see how does the two computers communicate so we have computer A and computer B which is there so if this computer A needs to communicate to this computer B so inside a small campus so it should have an addressing style so let us say in my office I have two points so each point should have a naming convention so we know that we, ha we have already defined a name for the whole world but how do we define a name like for example if you you have a name called as Ram then you will have a nickname called as Papu or something so the nickname we call I call it as a nickname which can be defined in a local area network okay so how do we define a nickname for this so the nickname for the, in the network okay so can be defined through a protocol so we will follow a rule which is being laid out so what is that rule the rule is called as the addressing style that is called IP addressing in IP addressing we have different type of addressing that is called as IP v4 that is the version 4 there is a version difference between them so example if you take an example of an IP address so it might be 192.168.1.3 okay so this would be an uh, IP address which is there here okay so this would be named for your computer that is in computer A and something like so we'll just copy this now we'll put it down here and we'll we'll say we have named it for A okay and come down here we'll paste it and we have to give a name for B also so the A and B uh, cannot be same so it should be different you cannot have a common name in a network so we'll make it as 4 so I have for computer A which is here defined as 192.168.1.3 and for computer B as 192.168.1.4 
okay so in a local area network I have de defined a name by using a protocol style called as IP addressing okay that's great so we have done that so what's next so how does it how does these two computers computers communicate that's the biggest question mark so we have a MAC address we have a nickname address that is IP addressing style which has been defined okay so after that so if it needs to communicate even then it should use a protocol or it should use a rule so what is that particular rule called as let's make a note of that here so it uses a protocol called as ARP address resolution protocol okay so it uses a protocol okay so let's me let me make I put a note here so what does it what does ARP do which converts the MAC address to the nickname the IP address okay so the ARP protocol converts the name that is uh, the MAC address the original identification name for the whole world into the nickname that is the name which we have named that is 192.168.1.3 and then it communicates okay so now we have established a connection from A to B so it's it took almost a long time for us to establish the connection okay that's great so once we have established the connection now how do we go ahead and transfer the data so transferring the data is a big deal so we use one more protocol we use one more rule to once again transfer the data what is that called as it's called as TCP that's called as transmission control protocol so we use a protocol called as TCP so if we want to transfer the data from A to B okay so so how does it transfer the data we use a protocol so how does it travel so we have the medium of traveling called as packets so packets is the medium how the data travels from A source to B destination or B source to A destination so now we'll ju just do a quick recap so what we have done so we have connected the computers by using the technology called as LAN, MAN and WAN then we have used the protocol way the protocol is nothing but a rules which we set on a network so we have three protocols which we use the first one is IP addressing so we use this addressing protocol to name the computers in the local network okay and we use ARP that is address resolution protocol which converts the MAC address the original identity of the computer which is identified in a network card to an IP address okay then we have to transfer the data from source to destination in the form of packets so for that we use another protocol that's called as TCP transmission control protocol so that's great so how do you identify what is a protocol does your computer have so I'll just click on start on a Windows host host is nothing but the name of the computer so we'll just make a note of that also here so if someone says host don't get confused hosts are the name given to standalone computer on a network so how do you come to know what's the name of your computer let's check it out how do you do it so we we'll just click on start click on run I'll just I'll type in CMD 
click on OK and type in host name hit enter there we go so this is my name which has been defined here so how do I find out what's the IP address so I just type in a command called as IP config hit enter so I can get an IP address so do you see the IP address is 192.168.1.2 the subnet mask we'll study about the subnet mask later and we have the default gateway okay so how do you find out the MAC address just type in IP config space backslash all so once I type in that I'll give get a description okay stating the physical address do you see here physical address physical is nothing but the physical computer which we are just representing so I have a physical address 001377E76859 so this is the MAC address of my computer which you see here and you see a description here which gives us the name of the network card the NIC card which I spoke about the uh, Realtek network card which is there in my computer okay and here also you can see the IP address once again so that's that's the information and here you see the host name which is defined what we spoke about our host name which I have told here is Unix okay so that's the end of this session thank you for viewing